So uh, today we'll try to uh, revive uh, this uh, berries. These are some of the night cat uh, berry uh, that I remove from my uh, vacuum, my uh, portable uh, vacuum, black and decker. So we gotta try to recover it. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, uh, six. There's uh, one right here that I'm trying to charge. So you need to get it like a variable uh, voltage that you could adjust the amp on the charger. So originally uh, this battery, the voltage was like a very, very low. So you need to bring up to a certain level in order for you to uh, charge it on your charger, okay? So I'm gonna mark the battery. One, two, three, four, five, six. By the way, if uh, any of the cell is uh, completely bad, it's not gonna hold the charge. So we need to find out which battery is bad, okay? So I'm gonna put the marker number one. Two, three, four, five, six. So by the way, when you guys try to uh, revive the battery, uh, once it's fully charged, doesn't mean the battery is uh, good you will need to put like a low, like a motor or uh, lights or something, some kind of source that uses the uh, battery as a low. And that would determine if the battery uh, would keep the, keep the low uh, going or not. If the low, once you uh, plug in the battery, if it's drained down instantly and would not power the low, that means the battery is not good at all. even though it shows the voltage is still good, okay? So normally this would be like a 1.25 or 1.2 volt. So uh, we are going to uh, charge up to like a 1.57 uh, volt. So you want to turn it off. It shows a 1.57, that's when I set it. And uh, is try to charge up to 1.57 volt. And anyway, if you bring out the voltage, you could try to put this at your uh, charging station and uh, allow it to charge it. So I have the charger that you could charge a Nightcat uh, battery. Make sure you have uh, selected to a Nightcat. Because the charger I have, I can select an uh, Alkaline, Nickel Metal Hard Drive, or Nightcat. So I have a uh, number two and number three uh, batteries over here. I'm going to try to uh, connect this to the meter, the voltmeter, and then uh, see the voltage. As you can see, it's only showed like 0 0.03. That is very low. That's for number two. Let's go and then uh, check it on number three. And uh, it shows uh, 0 0.03. So let's go and then uh, put this in the charger. You'll probably say bad. So yeah, I'm going to put uh, number two and number three into the charger. Negative. Number two.
and uh, both of them say it's uh, bad, okay? Flashing uh, red. So you, if that's the case, uh, you will need to bring out the voltage. That's why I'm trying to put it on the charger right now. The one that is uh, variable voltage and uh, variable uh, current. Uh, you got just the current and everything. So I'm going to put that battery, which is uh, number one, I'm going to bring over here and then charge it. So this is uh, number one. Let me remove from the other charger. So as you can see, number one, it says uh, charging, okay? And there's an indicator right there, it's flashing. I'm going to do uh, for all the batteries. Well, I'm going to do for one through four, the same method. I'm going to remove them and let this one charge. So now I have uh, number one and uh, number three being charged. Make sure you select this uh, nightcap. Alkaline is to the left, middle one is the nickel metal hydride, and uh, the right is the nightcap. So I'm just going to allow it to charge and see what happened. Alright, so uh, the battery shows uh, fully charged. Unfortunately, uh, this uh, number two uh, battery has a problem. It won't charge up. I think this is the dead cells. So when you have a battery pack that's uh, connected uh, together, and if one of them uh, goes bad, it thinks that all the batteries are went bad for our protection. So, next step is to uh, put a low to test it out. Even though if it shows a uh, 1.2 volt or something or 1.25 volt, it doesn't mean the battery is still good unless you put a low into it. All right, so I'm going to uh, remove the battery and test out the voltage. Turn on the voltmeter. It shows a 1.40. Wow, that's like a brand new battery. See, this is the number five replaced of uh, number two because the number two is bad. I'm gonna measure number two first. It's a uh, zero volt. So number six is a uh, 1.38. Number three is 1.3 or 1.29. Seems like number one is almost like a brand new battery. So number four is a uh, 1.31. Now uh, we are going to put a low test on this, like a little mini motor or something. So I have motor right here. I'm going to uh, jump the wire real quick. So yeah, if the motor just uh, dies out right away or something, that means the battery is no good. Gonna test on the that was number four, number So yeah, that one's kind of weak. So I need to put a low test on it.
Actually, that all sounds pretty good. Now I'm going to measure the voltage again. See if there's any uh, big uh, voltage uh, drop or something. So, number five, it shows 1.38. Not bad. Number three, shows 1.29. Number four shows 1.3. Wow. Number one shows 1.39. Well, it seems like all this uh, battery are still good. Uh, when one goes bad, doesn't mean uh, all the batteries, uh, battery cells are going bad. So that is the problem with the design. It seems like all the battery for the laptops if uh, one goes bad, you think the whole battery pack is bad. So yeah, with those uh, 18650 lithium iron battery, you could uh, reuse them for other things, okay? Anyway, this is a video to show you guys on how to uh, revive if your battery uh, goes completely dead. You could use this uh, same method for your uh, lithium iron battery nickel mineral hydride battery, nightcap battery. I would not trust to, to do the heavy duty or the alkaline uh, batteries because uh, they tend to uh, leaks. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification or drop any other comments on below. And uh, thank you for watching. See you guys on the next one. Like always, peace.